To begin a new railing project, click on the New Railing button at the bottom right of your program page. Go to the left hand side of the program page and enter the job name as shown. We will call this GRS Railing. And enter your customer's name or account. And their location. Once this information has been entered in, click on View Railing. Once inside, you will be prompted with a number of different railing systems to choose from. Click on the GRS Railing System button. Once inside, you'll notice that there's a number of different steps at the top of your page. Basic setup, layout balustrade, override details, fittings and notes, heights and widths, also glass details and extrusions. We'll talk about those later. To begin a layout, click on detail number two. To begin, Enter in the parameters or the finishes you wish to choose for your railing system. We'll be doing this with half inch glass and a base shoe and a top cap. This will be a simple project to start out with. With many different top rails to choose from, just make sure you select the top rail of your choice. For this project, we'll choose the brushed stainless steel GRL cap rail profile. This will be surface mounted and we'll be using the 8B base shoe. Next, click on number two, layout balustrade. Once inside step number two, you notice there's a blank page. You will have drag and drop options in the field on the left hand side of the screen. You'll be drawing in plan view or an overview of your project, looking directly down upon what you're drawing. I will drag the first section in place and drag upward to show that it is pointing out. This represents the depth of the railing section. My section in length will be 120 inches. All dimensions in the program are represented in inches. I will take the second section, connect it to the first section at 90 degrees at the upper left hand edge of the plan. The width of the railing section will be 240 inches or 20 feet. Finally, I'll add a third section at 90 degrees to the second. I'll make it 120 inches or 10 feet to match to the other side in depth. Your plan view in the layout balustrade step number two of Handrails Online. Go back to step one to view your work. Step number one has generated a 3D rendering of your project. Take a look at it. You have the ability to orbit it around, move it from side to side, zoom in and out, or just return the 3D drawing to its original replacement. In this case, we want to orient the drawing to show it how it would look from outside the railing as if we were seeing it from another building. So we will drag and position the drawing to get to the view we want. Next, you can go to the layout balustrade if you want to add any additional sections. To add additional sections, you would simply drag and drop 
a gap section. And again, this is just a drag and drop selection onto another area. Once the gap section is in place, add a length. In this case, we'll create 48 inches space between the two sections. I can then draw my next layout. This will be a smaller one. I'll make this one 48 inches projecting out. The width of the second railing section will be 120 inches or 10 feet. Next, I'll add a third section at 90 degrees to the new second section. I'll make it 48 inches or 4 feet to match the other side in depth. I will now return to step 1 to view the additions to my railing project. The project has gotten larger, so we would have to zoom out of our current view to see the whole setup. When I click and move the model around, you will see that the gap we added does not show any railing system. The gap we added is key to showing that we added an empty distance between the two separate sections and they are not joined together by any hardware. You can overwrite the details of these two sections if you wish by changing the cap rails or any of the other hardware details in the layout. Click on the sections that you wish to change, one at a time. In this case, we will change this one to a base shoe with just a handrail. I will then do that to all three sections of this particular balcony. Next, go back to basic setup to view your layout. You'll notice that the top rail has changed and the two sections are now different. Next, go back to override details again. There are no other changes that we need to make, so we can follow in step number four, fittings and notes. Within the fittings and notes section, Handrails Align has created a complete list of all the parts you need to build this railing project. As you click on each part in the list, a picture of the part is shown in the field on the upper right hand side of the page. End caps, we have flush angle ends, we have our glass brackets, we have our shims, we have our cladding for our base shoe, and our taper locks. You can also see the quantities required for each part You have your glass details, which you can modify and view one by one, simply by clicking on each of the different sections. If all your work looks satisfactory and you wish to keep your layout, click on save at the bottom of the page or any time during your layout to save your work. I will go down to the bottom and click Save. To produce a quote, save your work by pressing the Save button, then close the project with the Close button. The job will be highlighted and at the top of the list as sorted by the Date Entered column. To view this balustrade at any time, simply highlight it, like it is right now, and view balustrade. You can make changes to your layout at any time if you want to modify it. You can save your changes and close the project. Once completed, you can generate a number of reports based on your project. 
at the bottom of the page. You have your installation. This will show your installation information. You can scroll through the different pages and view your glass sizes, your components necessary, and it gives you a, a plan view of your layout. This can be used when you're presenting your layout in your pricing to your customer. We can close the installation sheet and go look at the glass order. You'll notice that the glass order is placed. And as we scroll down, we can see the layout and the next pages will be all the glass sizes necessary for the system. You can see that the Handrails Online program included the information for drilling the holes in the glass for the brackets we specified for the second section of our railing project. We can close this as well. These are printable. And we also have a cutting list. This will show the cuts necessary for the system once you're building it on site. We'll close that one. To begin to produce a quote, click on the quote order hardware button at the lower right hand side of the screen. You will see a new screen with all the parts from the project to be included in the quote. Click Request Quote. Enter your account number in the field as indicated. Once the account number is entered in, click OK. Please confirm that all your information is correct in the field as shown. Be sure to check that your email address is correct in order to promptly receive your quote. Once you press OK, you should receive an email with your quote attached. Once the screen prompt has closed, an email has been sent to your email address with the quote. Close this window and you are back to the main screen. This is the main screen that you'll be using each time you start a new layout. If you wish to sort this, you can do so by just clicking on each of the tabs at the top of the page. In this case, we will keep the projects sorted by date entered to keep the most current jobs at the top of the list. Please contact us with any questions you might have about the Handrails Online program. Thank you for watching.